And right now we have more breaking news. The man who gunned down Tarpon Springs police officer Charles Kondek has just pleaded guilty to first degree murder. Mark Douglas joins us now. He's at the courthouse with more tonight. Hi, Mark. Good evening, Stacy. This police officer murder three years ago rocked the entire Tarpon Springs community. Now the man responsible is begging for forgiveness and admitting what he did in order to avoid the death penalty. Marco Antonio Perilla Jr. was on probation on December 21st, 2014, when he fired seven rounds from his Glock 40 pistol at Officer Charles Kondek and then ran over the officer as he fled the scene. Kondek was a 17-year police veteran, and he was responding to a noise complaint that night when he died in the line of duty after encountering Perilla in a parking lot. Today, Perilla told a courtroom packed with police, friends, and Kondek's family that he is not not a monster and he begged forgiveness for what he did I have kids of my own and I can't even fathom what kind of pain your kids are feeling and how they hate me for taking their father away please forgive me I'm truly sorry for what I've done I wish every day that I could change what was done I beg you to please spare my life and give me a chance to better myself and others around me I really apologize sincerely from the bottom of my soul. The Tarpon Springs Police Chief speaking for the rest of the department as well as the family said this has been a sad time and a sad day, certainly that day, uh, for the Tarpon Springs community. And he says that uh, Perilla deserves the death penalty, apparently choosing not to forgive him for what he did. Now, the next phase here is going to be what they call the death penalty phase. That's when a jury will actually step in, a 12-member jury. And the difference now is that all 12 members of that jury have to decide that he deserves execution in order for him to get the death penalty. The other alternative, the best alternative that uh, Perilla can hope for is life in prison without parole. And uh, that session, uh, that uh, sentencing uh, hearing will take place either in November or possibly early next year, depending on logistics. So that's the situation here in the uh, Pinellas uh, Courthouse uh, Criminal Justice Center, where a pretty dramatic ending just happened, at least for phase one of this case that rocked that community and our entire Tampa Bay Area three years ago with this police officer's death. Stacey. All right, indeed, you don't hear that very often. Thank you, Mark.